Today at Bangbox, we remember Kaidi Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the founder and the first Governor General of Pakistan. He was born in Karachi in 1876 and became a lawyer in Bombay. Jinnah joined Congress in 1906 and advocated Hindu Muslim unity and constitutional reforms for India. He resigned from the Congress in 1920 when it adopted non-cooperation and civil disobedience as its methods of struggle against British rule. He joined the Muslim League in 1913 and became the president in 1916. Jinnah realized that the Muslims of India were a distinct nation with their own culture, history and identity. He feared that they would be reduced to a permanent minority in a Hindu-dominated India. He therefore demanded a separate homeland for them, where they could live according to their own values and aspirations. Jinnah mobilized the Muslim masses to support his demand for Pakistan. He rejected any compromise or federation with the Congress, which he considered as a Hindu party. He negotiated with the British government and Congress during World War II, but failed to reach an argument on the constitutional future of India. Jinnah led the Muslim League to a resounding victory in the 1946 elections, securing almost all Muslim seats in central and provincial legislatures. He proved that he had overwhelming support of the Muslims for his demand for Pakistan. He persuaded the British government to accept his proposal of partitioning the subcontinent in two dominions, Pakistan and India. He signed the partition plan on 3rd June 1947, which gave effect to his vision of Pakistan. Jinnah became the first Governor General of Pakistan on August 14, 1947. He addressed the Constituent Assembly of Pakistan on August 11, 1947, where he said that, You are free. You are free to go to your temples. You are free to go to your mosques or any other place of worship in the state of Pakistan. You may belong to any religion, caste or creed. That has nothing to do with the business of the state. He also said that, We are starting with this fundamental principle that we are all citizens and equal citizens of one state. Jinnah worked tirelessly to build Pakistan as a modern democratic and progressive state he suffered from poor health and tuberculosis. He died on September 11, 1948 in Karachi at the age of 71. He was buried with full state honors at mazar kaid His mausoleum is in Karachi. Jinnah is widely regarded as the greatest leader of Pakistan's history. He is credited with creating a nation for Muslims of India who had been oppressed and marginalized for centuries. He is remembered as the Qaeda Azam, the great leader, and the Baba Ekom, the father of the nation.